turned into UFC Heavyweight Showdown. You ready? You ready? Fight. All right, so the fight is now underway. We'll see how long it goes. You've got a submission specialist on one side and on the other side. Maybe the most well-rounded fighter in this game. Yeah, he is one of the best fighters in the entire UFC. But in front of him, he has one of the most dangerous fighters across all divisions in the octagon because that one skill he has is so good that you're under you're in danger the entire time. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that land, DC. Oh, beautiful knee to the body by him there. Again, we talked off the top about his size advantage, and he put it to good use there. Well, defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking these shots. He's not allowing his opponent to get any damage off on him by blocking all these attacks. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Nice body to run on the elbow. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. And now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it. He's coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Oh, got him with a head kick. That hand was partially landed. Oh, my goodness. He got kicked in the head, and he's still standing. Punch over the top. Combination lands for him. It was hard to see a miss in that sequence. He's put it all together. I mean, everything is just flowing. It's like in a zone. It's like the basketball hoop becomes twice its size. This guy today is looking at focus mitts in his opponent. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Nice counter shot there. Still unable to find that precise range with the high kick. Oh! Fight the score. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. There's no give on that leg kick. Beautiful body. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. And they separate. Lee's shot there is blocked. Beat him to the punch. Beat first. Oh, nice. Nice. Oh, nice takedown defense. That double leg attempt looked like it might be good. He wasn't having it. Straight punch lands. And how about that shin? Beautiful head kick. Oh, that straight punch is going to be a real problem if they can't make the adjustment. A real problem. He needs to move his head defensively if he's going to avoid getting hit so many times to the face. Lee's kick to the body is blocked. And they separate. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his opponent. He was going low. And now he's got him hurt very bad. Oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Going to the body there with the right kick. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Nice punch there. The inside leg kick is good. Right hand punches the clinch. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Nice. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed.
Ten seconds now in round one. Oh, spinning back fist. Didn't see that one coming. All right, single collar timeout. Horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays, DC. And if you like the kicking game, that was the round for you. Yeah, man, he used his kicks beautifully. He managed distance, managed space, and eventually those kicks started to really take an effect on his opponent and slow him down. He has to stay the course next round. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets under. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Lands with the kick there. No pat on that foot. No shit guard. He's taking all of that kick every time he throws. Oh, and he lands another knee there, DC. He talked a lot to us about his length and his size advantage. Doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it certainly did. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Nice. And both guys really throwing with authority. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting the combination. I mean, <laughs> if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand, jab. Right hand hooks, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man. Let this guy have the whole thing. Nice punch, Lance. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Lee gets hit with a kick. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Oh, huge strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Oh, big head kick. Winding up on the right there to no avail. Oh, nice job to land the knee there by the taller fighter. And I think I just heard Daniel Cormier say, I wish I was a little bit taller. You're a baller, though, he said. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he gonna do to follow up? Nice leg kick. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. <laughs> oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. Section, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, he landed that knee to the midsection. Got to think his opponent's going to feel that one in the morning. And he's going to continue to throw that strike because he knows that his opponent can't take many of them. Well, he is clearly faded in this one, and I'm not talking about the high and tight skin fade on my man oh. Daniel Cormier. He got stunned earlier in the... It didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. 
Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. Oh, he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out, but you gotta like the output here down the stretch. Leg kick. Oh, good kicks. Oh, big punch lands. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. Well, he's got the longer reach, and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. What a body kick. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1 level right. kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked Ready? about his powerful kicks, Ready? how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him tonight. That was so impressive to see. Someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Missed with that attempt. There's no tell on that leg kick. Oh, Superman punch is good. You can tell he's redness on the right side of his body. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Right hook attempt. That's a miss. What a punch. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Nice defense there, huge block. Now he counters with a right hook to the head. Oh, huge right hand! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Three minutes now to go in this one. All right, got to be careful playing around inside his guard. Absolutely, John. That's why you don't sit in a full guard. When you sit in a full guard, it gives these guys too many opportunities to chase submissions. And now he's jumping on a triangle. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. That punch, no good. Oh, he landed another great shot to the body. They're really starting to connect at a high percentage now in the latter stages of this fight. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. That jab is fast. Look at that jab. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, you... oh, he's hurt. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. this fight oh there he goes attacking that lead leg to the outside nasty kick there nasty leg kick you gotta slow down your opponent he knew his opponent wanted to move a lot tonight this is the first step in getting him to slow down and fight at your pace oh, oh he's hurt bad he's hurt bad john he's got to press him he's got to go chase that finish down now Anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. 
All right, dominant position here. He's got the full mount. A lot of different ways he can go here. Maybe try to find an arm bar or just get the ground and pound. He can attack submissions, but those submissions will present themselves once he is landing that brutal ground and pound he is known for. Because then his opponents will start to get a little bit desperate to get out from under him, which will then... Oh. Feet on the hips here. Back to the feet. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Look at the turtle in that kick. Oh, huge kick to the leg. Big head kick land. 15 seconds to go. Beautiful body. Right under the elbow. Oh, spinning back fist out of nowhere. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting him over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. around for too long. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. All right, working inside the closed guard now. This is no safe place against this opponent. And he's back up. Man, look at his torso. That just can't feel good. Look at the size of that bruise on his body. And you got to think his opponent is going to continue to attack that area. Oh, and he lands another punch there. And you can tell at this point, he is going right at that cut on his opponent. Right at the cut. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Don't finish this fight. Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of watching and seeing everything that's happening in front of him. Later, you'll see him start to throw counters after blocking shots. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Huge right hand! Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on the ground. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. Lee gets caught by the elbow. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Lee gets touched by another elbow. He's got to be really careful here. Oh, there's that elbow. Lee gets hit by another elbow. He is in the danger zone now. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Oh, nice combination of elbows. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Keeping busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. All right, operating inside the closed guard now. 
good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. And there he is after a massive knockout here tonight. Near perfect execution and a seminal moment for him here in the Octagon tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 15 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon.